Alright guys, so today I thought we could make our own custom menu for Amnesia, whether it be for the main game, for your own single player, or if it is for a full conversion mod of yours, then it doesn't really matter what it's for. Uh, I'm going to show you either way, it's a little different, but it's mostly the same. Uh, so, um, I have made a little example that I thought I could show, um, where it's not only a custom menu, but it's also custom music. Uh, and you can also change the font and the logo and whatever position of the buttons. Um, but I'm not going to go very deep into that. I'm just going to mention it briefly. But uh, that's uh, a little deeper. I'm sure you can figure it out. But um, uh, I'm going to mention it, but not really show you. So this is the e example that I made. It's a very simple mod. Or Well, yeah, it is actually starting up a mod. This isn't the default Amnesia game, but it is uh, just... Uh, identical version of the game, uh, where it's a very, very simple full conversion mod. But uh, otherwise it doesn't really matter, I'm gonna just show you both of them. So uh, it's a, it's not a very creative one, or I don't know, it could be a little creative perhaps, but it's a very simple mo uh, menu, it's not very advanced, it's just a pile of bones and a few particle effects and such. Uh, but anyways, I guess I could show you how you can do this if you wanna get your own menu. So uh, first of all, I'm just going to start by going to the Amnesia directory. And uh, by the way, this is done on a Mac computer. So if you're using a Windows computer, it doesn't really matter because it's still the exact same. You should be able to follow along. Uh, it's mostly just uh, the level editor and uh, some files in the folders. And you should know what to do here. So uh, here I have the example, the mod example that I just ran, which is a very simple uh, mod which I can talk about a little later, but first of all, uh, if you are going to do this for the main Amnesia game, you will have to locate main menu. And if you're unsure where this path is, on Steam, on Mac that is, it's in uh, Library, Application Support, Steam, and on Windows it should be in Program Files, Steam, uh, etc. The same path here. And uh, basically, to uh, change the menu, you if you're going to replace the menu, you can open up main menu, main, go in here, and there are there's this menu BG map. If there is a map cache file, you wanna delete that uh, because it's uh, if you do not delete it, then changes in this map will not show up. It's very important. Um, but anyway, uh, if you do open this map in the level editor, you can uh, change it however you like and uh, ch save it. But if you're going to make a new map from scratch, then I guess I could show you that as well. There are a few things that you need to be aware of. So uh, here we have a blank map. It's pretty, pretty empty. And uh, you can make whatever map you like. You can place up some static objects or whatever. Uh, I guess I'm not going to do that. It'll take a little while. But... Um, you can place up whatever whatever your decorations you want. Let's just place up a simple static floor here. Uh, mansion base floor. Let's just pick this one and oh, that was. Let's do that. Okay, that's a weird one. Uh, so we have this huge floor here, and uh, basically, what you need. Let's just say that this is all the decorations you want, even though you probably want a lot more than this. But um, uh, to make the area or the map work for your menu, you want to place down a script area which is a player start area. So uh, you will, it's the very bottom one and it's kind of similar to when you're placing a spawn point in your level although uh, this one needs to be renamed to camera pause with capital C and capital P in one word. Camera pause for the camera position. And another thing to make note of is that uh, normally, in a level, when you spawn, using these areas, of course, you will be spawning looking in the direction of the blue arrow. You see this little blue arrow there, this, uh, not this one, but this one. So if I, for example, rotate it, it's the uh, the translate button is, uh, arrow is still going to be the same, What, but this blue arrow is a different direction. And uh, that one you can rotate it whatever direction you want. You probably don't want to have the camera upside down, but uh, whatever. Uh, maybe. <laughs> so um, that blue arrow is not the position you're looking in, in the camera. In the menu, for whatever reason, the blue arrow is the opposite direction. So that means you want the blue arrow to face away from the scene. So for example, if you do it like this, now the blue arrow is facing out into the void out there. And that means the camera will look 
in this direction down here somewhere about here a little tilted so uh, that's kind of that's going to be your scene right there and uh, of course it depends uh, how far away and close and everything to how much you get in the picture you might want to do some testing to to get that actually working uh, so um, I guess I could actually I shouldn't have closed that but let's just open up that map that I had as an example I believe it was this one yeah uh, this is the little example I had which is basically just a pile of bones and it's very simple uh, pile of bones, uh, fl very small floor, very dark, one spotlight up there, and some particles and decals. And uh, here we have the camera pause with the blue arrow facing away. And uh, once you've made your level with that area, you can save it as whatever you'd like. And uh, although if you are using the default one, you want to delete the map cache, but you also want to duplicate the uh, the default one so do you have you have your copy because if you do overwrite this file uh, you cannot exactly get it back without having to reinstall the game or verify the integrity through Steam uh, or download it perhaps if you're lucky but um, basically if you're gonna edit the main uh, the default files I recommend that you back it up just doing a simple copy that's all you need to do so you would save over that map and I would um, replace your default amnesia menu. Uh, however, if you don't want to do that, you can, let me just delete that cache file because that is unnecessary. One thing that you can do instead of uh, replacing the file is that you save your map in this location with a different name, for example, custom menu BG. And then you would go to the config folder up here. All right, let's see. Uh, under config, there is one called menu.cfg. And if you open this with text edit or notepad plus plus or something like that, uh, then you can edit the name of the map right here. Again, I do recommend that you back up your file in case you mess it up, because if you do mess it up, you don't want to sit through that whole installation again, and you might do some files. So just be sure to duplicate the file if you do want to edit it. But if it's for your full conversion mod, then you probably don't want to, you don't need to worry that much about it unless you of course have done a lot of changes that you are a little careful about so uh, but here is the name of the map that is loaded as the menu you can also change the field of view right here by default it is 70 you can also change how much field of view it's going to zoom into because as you know it zooms in and uh, if uh, the FOV is smaller it's going to zoom in if it's larger it's going to zoom out and uh, zooming out is a little interesting. I haven't, I don't think I've seen it in a mod yet, um, but uh, I haven't really seen that many mods though. So uh, there might be a few that use it. You can also change the menu music right here. So for example, changing this will uh, change the music. And if I do show you the little example I over have over here, mod example, I have a few folders, the config, ma menu, maps, they're not really used in this video, but and music. Music is just a simple Night of Chaos. I downloaded it from a royalty free site. And uh, here we have main menu. This is the exact same file that I have open right here. And this is the default one. So if you want to keep them isolated, you can do that. But that's, of course, for um, full conversion mods and not for the default game. Because if you're gonna, if you're gonna use the default game to do this, then you of course need to replace or uh, edit files that are already there so um, but in a full conversion mode it's totally up to you whatever you want to do so you can use that menu map right there and uh, basically these are all the files that I have in the config folder which uh, menu CFG uh, if I open it it's not really much different from the other one as you can see it's pretty much identical although the music file is changed and uh, the scene is changed and as you can see uh, the name of the map is the exact same on both of them. Uh, however, uh, that could be a little scary sometimes because if you have two files of the same name in this whole amnesia root directory, sometimes it might find the wrong one. So therefore, instead of changing this to a custom name, you can do that. It's probably a better option because you'll more you'll be more safe to make sure it doesn't mix up the files. You can add a full path to it. So for example, 
I added the full path mod example slash main menu slash main slash menu BG. And if you add that full path, then uh, as long as that path does not match the other one, because um, basically uh, the other one still has main menu main menu BG as the path. If you look up here, main menu main main uh, menu BG. Uh, however, it does not have mod example as its uh, superior or whatever uh, folder that comes before it uh, preceding. No, I don't know um, the folder that comes before it. So uh, therefore, it's uh, going to ignore that one and find this one instead, which is one way to do it. Uh, of course, it's probably a better option to just rename the map. Now, you can also change the position of the logo right here. Uh, the logo itself is actually a texture file that you can find somewhere, uh, somewhere in your files. Uh, I, it might be in graphics, perhaps, main menu. Menu gap. No, that was not it. Maybe it's in textures or somewhere around it. Uh, but either way, you can find that file and you can change it to whatever logo you want. And here you can change the position of it. And uh, these are x and y coordinates. Uh, so you can mess around with these. I don't remember exactly what they do uh, individually. But uh, let's see. Main menu logo start relative position and logo relative size. Ah, right, so this is the position and this is the size. That makes sense. Um, up here we have the font. If you do want to change the font, there is a program on the angelcode.com, I think it was angelcode.com, uh, which has the, that site has the um, tool that you can use to make FNT files out of uh, FTT, was it? Is it FTT for the normal font files? You download a font and you can convert it to FNT and, and DDS to use in Amnesia. Although it's a little trickier than that, but there is a tutorial over um, over at the Frictional Games forum. Uh, and by the way, if you do have any problems at all with Amnesia, you can jump over to the Frictional forums. There are a lot of people that can help you over there, so um, just bear that in mind. Uh, otherwise, there are just some general settings here. If you want to change it for your own mod, you can change uh, fading time, uh, speed, and uh, just anything really, text size, and uh, a lot of other things. If you actually do go through all these files, you will probably uh, find find a lot of funny things that you can change. So that is pretty much it for changing the menu of your um, mod or default amnesia game. There's probably a little bit more I could say about it, but um, that's that's it in a nutshell. Pretty much, it's not that difficult really it's pretty simple and uh, the way I launched this mod I went to properties set launch options and wrote the path for the main initiation I think that is initiation in it main in it CFG file <clears throat> so um, that is the the path for mod example config main in it CFG that one so uh, if you're on Windows it would be the exact same really so um, that would be the path. As long as it points to a main init file, it will start a full conversion mod. Uh, if you do not use a full conversion mod, the default amnesia game, you can keep this empty. Uh, but since I did not modify the uh, the default game, it should just start up the, uh, the normal amnesia game when I do this, like that. So removing that string or that little piece of text will start up the default game. Having it there, we'll start with the mod example one, which is just, yeah. Uh, I do actually have a video on creating a full conversion mod if you're interested in that. Uh, it's a little uh, outdated in a way, and the it's, uh, I don't know, it's not very outdated. It's just I uh, have uh, all of the separate folders inside here, like these. Um, what am I doing? I have all these located outside this mod example folder, which is a little little less clean but whatever it's still functional <laughs> okay I'm rambling now so um, I guess that would be everything for this video I uh, hope you found it helpful and uh, uh, if you need any help of course frictional form or post a comment I will try to help you in any way I can uh, otherwise I will thank you for watching and I will see you later